Okay, now, first of all, I would like to, to give a, a brief summary of uh, variable what is sensitive prionopathy. Uh, VPSPR is a new sporadic human prion disease described for the first time in 2008 by Pierluigi Gambetti and uh, uh, Wen Shan Zhu, both here present. It has been observed in at least 55 cases worldwide and accounts for approximately 3% of all sporadic prion diseases. However, VPSPR might be more common as it may remain unrecognized owing to its similarity with atypical dementias. VPSPR, at least as CJD, affects all three genotypes at codon 129, valine valine, methionine methionine, and methionine valine. The most distinct molecular features of VPSPR are high protein sensitivity of the abnormal PRP associated to valine valine residues and the presence of abnormal PRP forming after proteinase K digestion a ladder like electrophoretic profile as okay. uh, given the um, atypical characteristic of uh, this new uh, prion disease, it is Im important to try to investigate if other factors can contribute to, the, to this new uh, pathology. One of the proteins involved in a large number of neurodegenerative disease is tau. So we uh, decided to investigate if tau is involved in VPSPR. Okay. A brief introduction. Uh, tau is a microtubule-associated protein, mainly expressed in neurons, but also in, in uh, some uh, glial cell, and is crucial in external maintenance and external transport. It exerts its stabilizing action, forming links with adjacent microtubules. Tau phosphodilation generates a reduction of tau's binding affinity for tubulin, that is the microtubule protein constituent, with consequent microtubule instability. It is important to uh, underline that phosphodilation and dephosphodilation of tau are active regulatory processes of microtubule activity. But tau hyperphosphodilation induces the formation of insoluble tau aggregates that, uh, that are called uh, period helical film, film, filaments, PHF. The loss of normal function, together with a possible gain of pathological function, determines the pathogenic effect of PHF, as we can also see summarized in this uh, uh, schematic the drawing which is associated to neurodegeneration in several pathologies, like as Alzheimer's disease, Pick's disease, progressive supranuclear palsy, cortico basal degeneration, and every, a lot of other neurodegenerative disease. So we uh, try to perform a immunohistochemistry analysis to see the reactivity of uh, in, in VPSPR, VPSPR cases. We, I, I, I like to divide uh, what we observed in two main groups, the medium immunoreactivity and the strong immunoreactivity. In the moderate uh, medium, moderate mild immunoreactivity, just the transenterinal cortex was affected as we can, and all in this case, we can see the entorhinal cortex, even some in the entorhinal cortex, but a lot, the majority case that is represented are in the transentorhinal cortex. In the strong immunal activity, there is also the involvement of entorhinal cortex and hippocampus to see a higher magnification of the medium immunoreactivity, we can see that there is a typical presence of uh, tangles and also a lot of uh, neuropile thread in the strong immunoreactivity group. There is the involvement of uh, also uh, entorinal 
Sorry, the subiculum, so para hippocampus, the hippocampus, the entorinal cortex, and the trans entorinal cortex. So, the um, total results of our study of histochemistry show that a great majority, 82% of cases, has, are positive to immunoreactivity of PHF, that is a um, the antibody used to link the, um, the hyperphosphorylated tau. And negative only in 18%. There is also one different penetrance in the positivity if we observe the different 129 genotype. In F indeed, we can see that in, uh, if we took all together the VV, valine valine, and methionine valine, we have a, a total of m almost more than 90%. And uh, to give you the, the, the number, the negative cases were uh, seven negative on the total 38. And just one of, th of those was MV. Six, all six, other six were VV. So there is one uh, important uh, uh, important um, characteristic of uh, genotype that interfere on the um, on the association of tauopathy. Another aspect that we op want to study in uh, uh, associated to tau is uh, biochemical. So I would like to introduce just a little biochemistry of tau. Tau is um, coded by a single, a single, sorry, sorry, a single gene, but alternate splitting in exon 2, 3, and 10, that are this and this, generate six different iso isoforms, all expressed in the adult human brain. There are these. Every Every isoform can also add a phosphorylation that in this drawing is just a schematic because the phosphorylation can be more than 80. 80 sites of, uh, sites of phosphorylation in tau protein. So this is just one, one schematic representation. When there is hyperphosphorylation, as I told in the previous earlier, there is one aggregation to form PHF uh, aggregate. And it is possible to study biochemically use, uh, studying the electrophoretic profile by Western blotting. In this way, it, it, was, it has been possible to distinguish three and also, uh, sorry, three and also four, but this is not a typical neuropathology disease because it is myotonic dystrophy of type 1 and 2. The mo uh, the, more important are these three aggregate types. This is more represented in, uh, it is typical of Alzheimer's disease, in down, in a, lo a lot of, a lot of different diseases, but the, the main are Alzheimer's disease, also in cerebral aging, and Down syndrome. The type two, that has just two bands, that is 69 and 64, is represented by in corticobasal degeneration and PSP, progressive supernacular palsy. The type 3, it is typical of Pick's disease. I want to underline that in type 1, the, up, the band 69 and 64 are formed not just by one isopher, but by two that migrate together, both. 69 by this two, and 64 by this two. So our analysis, biochemical analysis by Western blotting, I obtain a profile that it look like, is similar, even if not identical, of the type one present in Alzheimer's disease and also in GSS because I forgot to tell you that also GSS has tauopathy, in particular in uh, um, the mutation F198S. 
that was studied by, uh, by Tagliavini, Busani, and, and also Vetti. So, for conclusion, so as you, 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 you observe, you can observe that I checked also the other, the other two, the other two types to compare with that. So the type two and type three. So the electrophoretic profile of insoluble tau in VPSPR is similar, but not identical, to that of Alzheimer's disease, the so-called tau type one. Indeed, the upper, I wanted to underline that, why I say that it is not identical, because the upper band migrates faster than this one. So if this difference is just a intrinsic characteristic of VPSPR, tau isoform, or other factor remains to be determined. As final conclusion, we can say that hyperphosphorylated insoluble tau deposits represent a consistent feature of VPSPR. Phosphotau immunoreactivity is detectable in more than 80% of total cases with a predominance in methion methionin and methion valine 129 genotype. But as I told earlier, it is 92% if we take in account only the two genotypes MM and MV. Tau pathology is mainly evident in transentorhinal region with involvement of entorhinal cortex and hippocampus only in the strongest affected cases. Generally, generally also that is very important that I uh, forgot to tell you before, no phosphotau immunostain in neocortex. List, electrophoretic profile of sarcoid insoluble fraction of hyperphosphorylated tau in VPSPR is similar but not identical to that associated to Alzheimer's disease. As I told uh, before, if the difference is due to intrinsic characteristics of VPSPR tau is of isoform or other factors are meant to be determined. Last acknowledgement, I would like to thank all the families of patients that were object of our study, CJD Foundation for support and also for funding this project, all staff on NP, the PSC, CDC and NIH for funding, and it, very important, I want also to thank Gianfranco Puoti because that, um, who made a lot of work part of this uh, presentation, for sure, Luigi Gambetti, my mentor and the support every, for everything, and, and also Bernardino Ghetti that provide us some uh, control cases like uh, PSP and Pig's disease, and Maria Grazia Spinantini and Michelle Godet for supporting the tau uh, enrichment and analysis biochemistry. Thanks for attention. <laughs>